the types of franchises. There are two main types of franchises. We have the product distribution and business format. Okay. Now, we will discuss first the product distribution franchises. <clears throat> product distribution franchises simply sell the franchisor's products and our supplier-dealer relationships. In product distribution franchising, the franchisor licenses its trademark and logo to the franchises, but typically does not provide them with an entire system for running their business. The industries where you must often find this type of franchising are soft drink distributors, automobile dealers, and gas stations. Okay. Again, the product distribution franchises can be mostly found in soft drink distributors, automobile dealers, and gas stations. Although product distribution franchising represents the largest percentage of total retail sales, most franchises available today are business format opportunities. Okay, so, what do you mean by business format franchises? Okay. Not only use a franchisor's product, service, and trademark, but also the complete method to conduct the business itself. So use a franchisor's product, service, and trademark. A complete method to conduct the business, such as the marketing plan and operations manuals. And business format franchises are the most common type of franchise. Okay. So what? So what are some of the popular business format franchises? We have the restaurants, the lodging, convenience, health and beauty, real estate, retail, education. Okay. So now let's move on to the types of franchise arrangements. Because so many franchisors industries and range of investments are possible, there are different types of franchise arrangements available to a business owner. First, we have the single unit direct, single unit or the direct unit franchise and the multi-unit franchise, which has two, uh, two types the area development, and the master franchise or sub-franchising. A single unit or direct franchise is an agreement where the franchisor grants a franchisee the rights to open and operate one franchise unit. This is the simplest and most common type of franchise. It is possible, however, for a franchise for a franchisee to purchase additional single unit franchises once the original franchise unit begins to prosper. This is then considered a multi-single unit relationship. A multi-unit franchise is an agreement where the franchisor grants a franchisee the rights to open and operate more than one unit. As I've said, there are two types, there are two ways a multi-unit franchise can be achieved. First is through area development franchise. Under an area development franchise, a franchisee has the right to open more than one unit during a specific time 
within a specified area. For example, a franchisee may agree to open five units over a five-year period in a specified territory. And a master franchise agreement gives the franchisee more rights than an area development agreement. In addition to having the right and obligation to open and operate a certain number of units in a defined area, the master franchisee also has the right to sell franchises to other people within that territory, known as sub-franchisees. Therefore, the master franchisee takes over many of the tasks, duties and benefits of the franchisor, such as providing support and training, as well as receiving fees and royalties. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you for watching.